the best result, the shortest amount of time, and the least effort. Keep watching. One thing to note before we go on, if you're doing this in a hurry, it's probably not going to come out as well if you took your time. So don't fuss about little mistakes and otherwise those things will slow you down. When you're done with one part, put the item back in its right place and move on. So with that said, let's get into this tutorial. I'm going to start by priming using the LA Girl Pro Primer Spray. It's got like two lids and I just need two, two spritz on either side of my face. So next I'm going to use foundation. I have here three shades. The one I reviewed was MD3W, which is this dark one, and I realized it's too dark. So then I went and I got LM4W, which in the store sort of looked like my shade, but then I was about to film this video and I realized that's too light. So I got M4W, which is in the middle and very close, and I think that's the best match for me. Also it's the normal to dry formula so it's slightly thicker than the combination oily. One pump on my on the back of my hand. See like I said it's a little bit thick. I'm gonna be using the Essence Makeup Buffer brush. So I'm just gonna make little dots all over my face starting with my problem areas like on my chin where i have some sort of acne going on then under my eyes because the thing is if you're doing this in kind of a hurry you might get heavy handed dipping the brush on your hand then you end up with too much product in one area this is very in a hurry friendly and then my brush i'm just gonna pop that into my skin. I feel like Essence brushes are so underrated, but they're actually really good. Basically, I only need one pump for my entire face. When I get to my nose, that little corner, I kind of just wipe it. Then I'm just going to blend my hairline and my ears and my jawline. I'm literally just going around so I don't have any empty spots. I could put another pump if I want more coverage but I prefer it like this. It's very almost natural and skin like. Alright so now I'm going to move straight into concealer and I'm using the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. And this is the shade which is GC983 and I'm just going to and then just join it mainly for those problem areas because I do tend to get a lot of pimples on my forehead so then I just take my buffer brush again and blend that And I'm just going to take a cosmetic sponge, just an ordinary sponge with my primer spray and I spray just once. Then I just blend under my eye to really get into that. It also kind of sets the concealer. Then I'm just going to use my LA Girl Blush Collection and this is Glam. I'm going to take the bronzer which kind of comes out pinkish on me. So I'm going to use the bronzer as a blush. I try not to twist my face in any sort of weird way. And I'm going to take a little bit of the blush just lightly. For my brows, I'm using my Catrice Eyebrow Stylist, and this is the darkest brown. So I'm gonna start by first combing my brows up. 
Now my pencil has been sharpened and that actually speeds up this process a lot. What I do to do my brows quickly is I start filling them from the top and forming that arch. Kind of starting with the top line and then gradually filling up the bottom. So you see how I started in the middle because that's the area that kind of needs filling the most. This side is pretty much okay but it also kind of looks more natural. Just look at the difference. And I just take the brush and brush that in. And pretty much I can leave my brow like that or I can add some concealer really quick. But I'm just going to continue filling my brow and fill up the other side as well. So I'm shaping and filling as I'm going. The brows are pretty much done. Sometimes I leave them like that. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of concealer for the sake of this in a hurry tutorial. <laughs> I'm gonna take the concealer straight out of the tube, not squeezing it, like whatever's left from when I was doing my face. And I'm just gonna focus on the underside. I'm focusing the concealer right under the arch where it's needed the most. So the key with doing your makeup quickly basically is focus on the areas that need the most attention so i'm taking this essence eyebrow brush and i'm just gonna blend a little bit of concealer down by doing little downward strokes from the arch i can bring that up a little bit and another tip whatever i'm taking out and using as soon as i'm done with it like really really done with it i throw it back into the makeup bag like put the caps back on the lids whatever put it back in the bag that also helps speeding up not having a mess everywhere like put it back where it belongs like straight after you're done using it now for my eyes i'm doing a one color look that's the quickest thing you can do you can either leave it like this and then you kind of have the natural color of your eyelids there and you could go straight to eyeliner but if you really want eyeshadow i suggest doing just pick one color that way if you make any in a hurry, messy hand movement, like it's not so bad, especially if it kind of blends into your skin. So I'm going to use this Essence Eye Blender brush, which is a sort of tapered brush like this. And I'm using the Nika K Defining Eyeshadow. It's called In Bloom and it's like basically three shades of purple and a sort of light peach color. If I can open it. Yeah, I got it. So the color I'm going to be using is that, see this dark purple, the second darkest purple. That's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to tap some off and work my way in. And because this is a blending brush, the product spreads really quickly. So I'm doing a bit of tap tapping and swiping. I'm using my Essence Super Fine Eyeliner and, and I usually just freehand starting from the center. Don't focus on getting it like super perfect because then you'll just waste time and probably mess it up some more like on this side. Now false lashes can take some time to do because you have to put the glue, wait for it it to dry no not gonna do that in fact i hardly ever wear false lashes what i'm gonna use is this essence lash princess sculpted mascara honestly it's good enough to wake up those lashes so what i do is i as i'm pulling out the wand i'm brushing it against the side of the tube that way i don't get any clumps on the brush and I have my mirror here at the bottom below me. I'm looking down at my mirror and just lightly brushing my eyelashes. So lastly, it's lips and I'm using this disco eyeliner from this uh, eyeliner. I'm using this disco lip liner from this game. And I'm going to use my Passion Pro Velvet Matte Lipstick. And I like wearing matte lipsticks these days because they actually don't really smudge that much under mask. And 
that's pretty much makeup done. So now for my hair, I have my Peruvian wig that I made in my last video. If you haven't seen that one, definitely check it out. And I already cut the lace and everything. I already cut the lace, added some of my foundation to it. I have a clip of me doing that because I was trying to I actually tried filming this video. So I have my hair braided done on both sides. And I'm using this knit wig cap. I prefer this than the flesh ones because then I have to add more foundation on the flesh colored one because then it's too light. That's a whole other drama. I'm using my got to be ultra glued. Which is more like a really strong styling gel, it's not really a glue. I'm just using a very, very tiny amount because this thing holds like, like it holds. Okay, that's all I can say about it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh. Goodbye and good night.